it is no longer news that Senator Godwill Opabio has been anointed for the race to the office of the Senate President in the 10th National Assembly. What many don't know is that the race wouldn't be a walkover for Opabio when the next Senate is inaugurated in June. The reasons are not far-fetched. His preference by the President-elect Bola Tinubu and the party leadership whose hands are tied is already generating ripples in the party. Many APC stalwarts have queried why a candidate for the Senate president will come from the South South and not the Northwest, which gave the party the highest number of votes in the 2023 presidential election. Secondly, tongues are already waggling over the choice of the deputy Senate for Pabio, Senator Jibirin Barao from Kano State, which is in conflict with the preference of Honorable Tajuddin Abbas for the office of Speaker of the next House of Representatives. Abbas is from Kaduna State, same northwest as Barao. The outgoing Senate President Ahmad Lawan has a considerable following among senators, both outgoing and incoming. He is reported to be against Apabio succeeding him in office. He has neither confirmed nor debunked the story for days now. Also, there are reports by the conventional media that the Apabio Senate presidency aspiration has suffered a setback as the major opposition caucus in the Senate has rejected him. For the record, the ruling APC has 59 senator elects, PDP has 36, while other minority parties have 14 senator elects combined. By implication, the opposition parties cannot be ignored in this race. Meanwhile, Apabio is reported not to be in the good books of the People's Democratic Party caucus in the National Assembly, both the outgoing Ninth Assembly and the incoming Tenth Assembly. Hence, all entities from the former Aquaibom state governor have fell under PDP lawmakers elect deaf ears. He is said to enjoy the support of only three out of the 36 PDP senators elect. The three Apabio supporters are senators elect from River State because of Governor Nyesom Wiki's alliance with the APC at the center. This is happening because there are people within PDP, Apabio's former party, who sees him as untrustworthy and unprincipled, and if allowed to merge Senate president, he will sell out the thanked Senate to the executive arm of government. In the face of these baggages, Apabio may find it difficult to win the coveted legislative seat. Besides, another aspirant to the office of the Senate President and the only one from the North for now is Senator-elect Abdulaziz Abubakar Yari. Pundits believe the former governor of Zamfara State may upset the APC Apple Court as witnessed in 2015 when Dr. Bukala Saraki and Right Honorable Yakubu Dogara emerged Senate President and Speaker, respectively, against the directive of the ruling APC. But in the case of Yari, he can't be dubbed a renegade. In fact, he is a loyal party man committed to the ideals of the APC from inception till date. This is because APC hasn't come up with any zoning formula, hence Yari is not disobeying any party directive. It is important to know that elections of the two presiding offers of the Senate are done by open secret ballot system. Hence, at the end of the day, no one can know who individual senators voted except those who may want to display their ballot papers for their colleagues to see, just like we witnessed in the just concluded 2023 presidential election. The open secret ballot system will favor Yari as many APC senators elect would want to pitch their tents with him, given his disposition and leadership acumen without being antagonized by the APC leadership. Also, the PDP senators-elect and others of the minor opposition parties might throw their weight behind Yari to emerge as Senate president. Yari, a dark horse, is seen by the political pundits as the likely candidate to upset the ruling All Progressives Congress Apple Court in the race to the Senate Presidency of the Fent National Assembly. He will represent Zamfara West in the next Senate. Without gainsaying the fact 
Jari has paid his dues, having led the APC to victory in the 2023 presidential election in Zamfara State against all odds. The then APC presidential candidate, now president-elect, Ashwaju Bola Tinumbu Ahmed, won the election only in Zamfara and Jigawa states out of the seven states of the northwest geopolitical zone of Nigeria. He is said to be dependable and reliable. He has cognate legislative experience as a former member of the House of Representatives and a wider political network beyond political party. The next few weeks leading up to the inauguration of the Fent Assembly will surely keep a fest in the mouths of political enthusiasts.